Welcome to the 30s guide. My name is Priska Jordan and in today's video I am giving you five things to avoid wearing or styling if you have a curvy body. Now my goal with these do's and don'ts videos is never to box you in or make you feel like you can't experiment with your style because of course the only way that you discover your style is through experimentation. My goal with this video is to simply show you how the clothes you wear and the way you style them can either enhance the beauty of your body or it can detract from it. And of course, we want to embrace our beautiful bodies and the curves that God made us with. So let's get right into these styling tips. The first clothing piece to avoid if you have a curvy body is bulky clothing at your waist and your hips. The reason why this has to be said is because a lot of times clothing designers are not thinking about the average woman, but rather how is their clothing going to walk down the runway? And of course, models tend to have slender, taller frames, and they're not thinking about the average woman with average curves. So what might translate really well in New York Fashion Week on the runway isn't necessarily going to look good on you and me. Now, bulky clothing is an example of this. There are three pieces of clothing in this category that I want you to consider either avoiding or styling in a way that really flatters your body. The first one is tunic length tops and since we're getting into winter fashion, you're going to see a lot of sweaters that are more tunic length. To style this a little bit better, you can consider adding a belt or make sure that the sweater itself has seams around the waist to create more of an hourglass figure rather than a baggy or barrel shaped figure. The second item is one that I'm guilty of so often because I just like the way it looks and I know it's a trend, but it is peplum style tops. Peplum style tops can sometimes look good on curvier figures if the peplum is perfectly cinched at that woman's waist, but typically a peplum top is actually going to cinch in below my waist, which is not flattering my actual waistline and creating bulk around my hips. So really experiment with peplum tops if you like them and make sure you're saying no if it doesn't flatter your beautiful body. The last clothing piece to avoid in this category are cocoon coats. And luckily this year, you're going to see a lot more of the tailored coats that are prevalent as well. And maybe you already have one, but if you're out shopping for a coat this winter, then I'm not going to say avoid cocoon coats, but rather really look at it on your body. How does it fit your figure? I've been noticing these cocoon coats from J. Crew for several years and the color really just draws me in, especially they have this poppy pink shade that I think would just be fabulous with a winter wardrobe. But I have to remember to look past the color and really look at how the fit is on my body. And I know that cocoon coats aren't very flattering on me. If you like the bulkier style coats, then one thing you can try is adding a statement belt, even one that doesn't perfectly match with the color, but sort of complements your outfit, that can be really chic as well. Or try a more tailored coat. There's so many options this year, including the single-breasted, double-breasted, trench coats, or just any of the more tailored coats that will likely look better on you and flatter your curves better. But that makes me wonder what style of coat are you wearing this winter? If it's one that you've had for a few years or one that you're shopping for, let me know down in the comments. I want to see what styles you're interested in this year. And while you're down there, please hit that like button if you're already enjoying this video and subscribe to my channel for more style tips in your 30s. This next category of clothing items to avoid is swinging in the opposite direction of the first one. First, we had bulky clothing at the waist and hips, and this one is too tight clothing from head to toe. In case I just threw you for a whiplash, let me explain. Bulky clothing is one extreme of clothing and the other is itty bitty tight all over clothing. Not only is very tight clothing unfashionable now, but it's also not very flattering for a curvy body. What it does is overemphasize the curves and almost over sexualizes a woman when she's wearing way too tight clothing all over. Instead, what I would recommend for a very chic look is choosing one area of your body to emphasize. It's all about creating balance within the outfit and showing the eye where to go. When you wear a bulky outfit, the eye doesn't know what to focus on, so a lot of times you get overlooked, and probably because you reach for bulky clothing when you're not feeling your best and you don't want to be the center of attention, but when you wear an overly tight outfit, the eye also doesn't know what to look at because it's looking at everything all at once. 
So instead we want to find a happy medium of that. So a lot of times I personally like to wear a statement belt or some kind of shiny cardboard on my belt because it emphasizes my waist and creates a beautiful hourglass figure. And the added benefit is that it gives an attention point within the outfit. So the next time you're getting dressed, instead of two larger pieces or two smaller pieces, go for a mix of fitted and draped depending on what you want to emphasize that day. The next clothing item to avoid is itty bitty handbags. And I'm not talking about the micro bag trend that, let's be honest, Lizzo started. Although I don't love that either. I'm talking about bags that are just smaller, which make your body look larger. This was actually pointed out to me by a friend when we were at a theme park. The women who were walking around with normal size backpacks looked normal size, but the smaller the woman's backpack, the larger the woman looked. And if you aren't interested in looking larger than yourself, then try to avoid the itty bitty handbags. I won't make a separate point about this, but the opposite is also true. If you're wearing too large of a handbag, then that can actually shrink you and make you look childish. So a medium sized handbag, especially for your size frame and your height is going to work out much better for you. But let's say you're going out for the evening and you want to carry a little clutch. The reason why I think this works fine is because you're carrying the clutch by hand away from your body, as opposed to having a handbag drape on your arm. So I have an array of clutches that I carry in the evening and I think it looks chic and sophisticated. The next clothing item to avoid is a dress at an unflattering length. Now the problem with this is that the hem length of a dress is not going to look the same on all different body types and heights. So you really have to pick out what looks best for you. I personally love midi length dresses and skirts, but if it's a dress that is between midi and knee length, then that hem is actually going to cut me off right at the largest part of my cap. It's the same kind of effect of a capri pant and why capris are so unflattering. Instead, having the hem length right below the calf or right above it at the knee is going to be much more flattering for almost anybody. Another unflattering length that I see is the mini length when it's too mini. The wider you are, the curvier you are, then likely the shorter that mini length is, the worse it's going to look. This is because mini skirts can start to be wider than they are long, and that actually visually makes your body look wider than it is long. So the hem length that I think is universally flattering on all women is actually at the knee. For some women that might be right below the knee, it might be at the knee or right above it. But that's something that you're going to have to experiment with yourself. Look in the mirror and see which hem length looks the best on you. If you want to learn more about styling your dresses so they flatter your body, watch the video in the corner here that teaches you how to fix your dress outfits for better proportions. The fifth and final clothing piece that you should avoid if you have a curvy body is any top where the shoulder seams are at the wrong place. Now a good shoulder seam is going to be right at the corner of your shoulder. But as I've seen in the past few years, and it's still trendy this year, a longer shoulder seam for sweaters, for example, is very trendy. This is not very flattering for the length of your arm, and it also creates a wider torso. So I would recommend shoulder seams that are at the correct placement. This is a smaller detail, but it's one that can make you look more chic or more sloppy. And as usual, the more chic you look, the more it flatters your body. And that's the final tip. So thank you for joining me for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to improve your style in your 30s. I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Until then, take care.